get the most out of your Vancouver 2010 Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games experience, it's important to consider all of your travel options. We always encourage sustainable choices, and there are a number of safe, reliable, and accessible ways to travel that will help reduce vehicle traffic during the game. During the month of February in 2010, Whistler's population is going to be close to 55,000 visitors and residents a day. So together we need to meet that challenge by increasing public transportation, trying to leave our cars at home whenever we can, and making sure that all our visitors understand the best ways to get around too. During games time, if you live or do business in some of the key venue areas like Creekside, Up Glacier Drive, or around Gateway Loop in the village, we need to make sure that we can manage the congestion that could occur and minimize vehicle traffic wherever possible. So the RMOW has instituted a local vehicle permit to make sure that the people who need to get there can, and the folks who can go outside our peak hours will travel during those times. To find out more on how to get your permit, visit whistler2010.com. During games time from February 11th to 28th, we'll have the Sea to Sky checkpoint at Alice Lake to help manage traffic going into Whistler. The Sea to Sky checkpoint will operate daily during our peak travel hours of 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Outside of those hours, you won't need a permit to travel through, but it's still critical to ensure you have confirmed parking in Whistler. The checkpoint is being used as a traffic management tool to ensure that vehicles traveling north understand that they either have confirmed parking in Whistler or perhaps have a destination further, such as Pemberton or over the Duffy Lake Road. If you have confirmed parking, then getting a permit ahead of time is no problem. We have four offices available to make sure it's convenient for users. Offices are in Vancouver, Squamish, Whistler and Pemberton. You can find out all the office hours at travelsmart2010.ca. We encourage residents of the Sea to Sky to make sure they get their permit by January 31st to avoid the February rush. For travelers moving southbound on the Sea to Sky Highway, you won't require a permit to travel south, but if you are returning north between February 11th and 28th during checkpoint hours, you should have your permit ready so you can pass through efficiently. As you might expect during games time, we will have some minor traffic changes, rerouting, changes to delivery patterns to make sure they can happen effectively and safely during the quieter hours in the resort. So to make sure you have all the information you may need to do business or to access various areas of Whistler, please visit whistler2010.com, the resort municipality's website. You can find everything you need there. If you want your 2010 Winter Games experience to include your own skiing and riding at Whistler and Blackcomb Mountains, then they are open for business. While we have competition events on Whistler, 90% of the incredible terrain at Whistler Blackcomb is open and you can get up there by commercial motor coach, have a great day skiing, take in some of the events and then head back to the city. Mm -hmm.